Hey everyone, I hope you're doing really good today. Today I'm going to be doing an updated version for the Starfield UI mod. A lot of people have been having trouble installing the mod because my video was created the day that they created the mod. So mine's a little outdated because they've updated it a couple times since then. And with those updates, they've actually changed some of the files and how they look, which has left a lot of people really confused with my past tutorial. So I'm doing, this is an updated tutorial for those who have been really confused to help you guys out and stuff. So I really hope this helps you. I'll be providing the link to the Star UI mod in the description below. So make sure you look there if you need it. The first thing you're going to do is open up the star UI mod and you're going to download it manually. Unless you want to do it with Vortex, you can press this and it's a lot easier. Some people have a lot of problems with Vortex though, so this is an option for those who have issues with Vortex. So before we go into installing the mod, we're going to have to enable archive and validation and I'm going to show you how step by step. So this is the first method for enabling archive and validation. If this doesn't work for you, I will be showing a second method. What you want to do is you want to go into documents and in my games and find Starfield in there. After you do that, for those who do not have this, I already have it because I already have it in enabled, you're going to want to create a Starfield custom .ini file. To create an INI file, you want to right click on the screen and press new and then go to text document. Click that. After that, you're going to type in Starfield if you can spell Starfield custom and you're going to delete the txt at the end and type in INI. Don't delete the dot leave it because it'll change the file extension. After that, it'll ask if you want to change it, press yes. And then you're going to open up the file that you just created. Mine will look different. Yours will be blank if you haven't done this already. I have an FOV text here that changes the FOV for me in game. But what you're going to want to add is this text. I'll put the text in the description below. If for some reason you can't create an INI file, because I've heard some people it's not letting them for some reason, you should have a Starfield prefs file in here. Just right click it and press copy and then just paste it into here. So you'll have two of them. So you'll have two configuration files and and then just rename the second one into starfieldcustom.ini and they'll both be configuration files. If this method does not work for you, what you want to do is you want to go to your Steam and you want to go to your Starfield. You're going to go to manage browse local files. After you're there, you're going to look for something called starfield.ini. If you don't have this, it might just be Starfield. It might just say Starfield, but it's located under your starfield.exe and it's going to say configuration setting. If you don't see the starfield.ini file, you might have it so it doesn't say the .ini at the end. I don't know how that's worked with other people why it's different to other people but just look for the file below starfield.exe and it'll say configuration settings or it'll be two kilobytes just look for something like that so once you find this and you open this you're going to want to go into look past general and display find archive and you're going to want to look at this first line where it says s resource data drs final you're going to want to delete everything after the equal sign so just delete it you're going to want to add the same exact line of text from the last one that was from the first method which is going to be the be and validate from the second line from the last method that we did so it's essentially the same thing so now that you have archive and validation enabled now we can get into it's actually installing the mod so what you're going to want to do is go back to your steam go into browse local files for your star field and where a lot of people have been getting confused from my last video is with this update that they did they removed the data folder and they just added Added FOV mod interface and optional. You're literally going to want to ignore the README, the optional, and the FOV mod and just look at the interface folder. You're going to want to open up your data folder and you're going to have an interface folder in here. So you're just going to drag and drop this right into here and it'll replace everything that you need. You don't need to do anything else. So after that, if you want to make sure it's installed correctly, just open up the folder for the interface folder and you can scroll down. If you see the star UI inventory .ini and all the other like star UI icons and files, you should have it installed correctly. Just open up your Steam and make sure that it's installed correctly. If it is not installed correctly, make sure you go into your Starfield settings into accessibility and you want to disable large menu fonts just in case it's usually off by default, but this can kind of affect the mod. So just make sure you have that off. But after that, you're pretty much done. So I hope this helped you a lot. I know a lot of people were having trouble in the last video. I felt really bad. I didn't expect them to change how the files looked. <laughs> so, but it's okay. I didn't mind making an updated video. So I hope this helped you a lot. If it doesn't, let me know and I can try to help you in the comments. But I hope you have a really good day. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you all so much for subscribing and being so kind. I really appreciate it so much. Have fun in Starfield. And I hope you have a wonderful day as well. Goodbye.